My name is Jessie Singer and I'm 17 years old and I'm a junior in high school in Philadelphia. And and I'm Mark Singer, I'm Jessie's father. Um, and I won't say my age, but I live in Philadelphia with her. I first heard about the BOMA project when I was 12 years old. It was around the time of my bat mitzvah and I was looking for a nonprofit organization to which I could raise money for and sort of dedicate my bat mitzvah to. And I ended up reading a profile on the BOMA project in the in the annual report for the Center for High Impact Philanthropy. And when I read that, I immediately knew that I had found the one that I wanted to um, raise money for. It's just reading the stories of, of the women who had worked so hard and endured so much, and also the ingenious training model and the education model that BOMA had set up was really inspirational to me. I knew that BOMA was a nonprofit that could really truly actually make a difference in the lives of so many impoverished women and their children and their families. And I would just add that um, the Center for High Impact Philanthropy is a, is a research center within the University of Pennsylvania and its endorsement was meaningful to me. So I, I often wind up skeptical of, um, of newer or, or uh, smaller charities that I've never heard of. And, um, and so it was a very meaningful endorsement. We know a lot of people who actually work at the center. And so um, in, in, in then taking that endorsement and learning about BOMA, we learned it was truly meaningful. It did like real work uh, on the ground in Kenya. And, and there was nothing at all to be skeptical about and everything to be proud of. Every dollar that is donated to MoMA goes so far. And not only does it help women make money and support their families, but it also provides them with a sense of empowerment, which was really important to me, especially as a young girl. I really, I really liked the idea of empowering these women to do things on their own and make money and really feel like they had the ability to change their own lives. And just to add, you know, I happen to work in the business world. So I wanted to understand what businesses these women actually started and what were they trained to do? Were they real long-term sustainable businesses? And when I uh, learned the range of types of things these women did, it was incredibly impressive and, and really cemented home the notion that there, there's long-term sustainable support that, that happens um, when someone goes through the BOMA training process and ultimately starts their own business. Within our own family, this started as a one-time effort around Jesse's bat mitzvah to raise capital, first from us and our friends, and, and to bring some awareness of BOMA to our community. But it's come more of a lifelong passion for our family. So, so we have an annual giving plan um, where we give annually to BOMA, um, and we stay in touch with the organization and learn about it. We also hope someday to go to Kenya. Um, and we had explored doing that um, before COVID hit. And so, so we, we feel very kind of committed to the organization beyond just making an annual donation. I just think that BOMA is an organization that can make such a big difference in the lives of so many women. And it doesn't even take that big of a donation to make a difference. Anything you can contribute really helps so much.